Hello, and welcome to the basement. David Bradley here. I have been snagging things for more boxes, more boxes, more boxes. And occasionally I find something cool. For example, here. This is a hockey glove. And it's from, oh, it, says, it has the Canadians logo on. And it has an armor-clad thumb. It is... Oh, not bad. I guess there's a little stuff, but it's, it, it says on it, Little NHL on the side here. Little NHL. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, these are pretty rugged, and I know that I use them. I also have somewhere a pair of these that have the Toronto Maple Leafs logo on them, and I can still get my hands into them. It's funny to think, I know that the, the gloves now are a lot shorter, but in the old days, things were, taught, well, I mean, they protected the wrists better. But there we have it. And they still, good. I can't imagine, though, like these are not, it would not be easy to handle the stick with these, but um, I, I think today's gloves are lighter and maybe not as long, and that's maybe how they are more dexterous with their things but anyway these are things that would be just dandy to be in the um the man cave or something of a canadian fan which i am not um so these are things that perhaps i will attempt to sell they are vintage they are probably if they don't have a year so i can see super Weeks made in Canada, stitched with nylon. Stitched with nylon. Anyway, I remember having these when I was little, so they're they've got to be at least fifty years old. My dad probably got them used, so they're probably older than that. I have to look them up. Anyway, these are something I will probably put up for sale. They are. All right, now here is, of course, I always find these things. Look, it's one mitt. They're very soft. They're very comfy. They're probably very warm. Could use a little wash. Where's the other one? I don't know. So I have a box upstairs of unmatched mitts. Now, the other things I find are, like, shirts. And this is a white one. Got nothing else on it, but it was there. And... It's still, it might be handy. I may set it aside for my son. And right now I'm tossing it over there with the bowling shirts I went through before. But it may also be something that goes. And here's one. Oh, this is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. And this is another thing. I'll, set, I'll ponder it. It does have a little wear on the back. As usual. I, there's some, oh yeah, there's some holes I can see. I would wear suspenders. And sometimes, you know, they're metal and they might work. But anyway, this is also stuff. Yeah, I'll wash that and see whether it stays or goes or what happens to it. This is another shirt. Oh, it's Texas. with a butterfly. And it's nothing to write home about. So I think that is one. I mean, it could end up as a rag. Or I could donate it. It is nothing remarkable here's one and i wear this a lot as you might be able to see it's not just distressed it is stressed and said all i want in life is a little pizza a little pizza this a little pizza that a little pizza here a little pizza there with snoopy on it but it's really 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 worn so it too is likely I'm gonna go Here's something that I've had. I've never been a flip-flop person. I have never been. They just, I don't think they like my feet. And these are Canadian. They're a little stained. So these two are something that I think can go. Um, what else is under here? It's a shirt that says 
come Cone Star Bar and Grill, Seven Mile, Grand Cayman, British. Da, da, da. I have no affection for this. Oh, and on the back, it says Lone Star. Anyway, I have no affection for this. I suspect things that are in a box sometimes, you know? Anyway, I'll ponder whether I will donate it. I suspect it's I'm going to do a load of white stuff I'll put it in. Now here is something magical, and this was something that I think it was my mother made, or it might have been my sister. It's a bowling sweater. And how can I, how do I know this? Well, because there is a ball and pins on the back. Now I'm, I'm sure this does not fit me anymore. I'm sure. And I'm sure I would be I would treat it delicately. I would del wash it delicately. That's not too bad. But still, it is something that will go with the bowling stuff. Hiya! It will. Now, here is perhaps stuff that will not be here very long. It's more... It's a little string of Christmas lights. And does it work? Oh dear. Damn, it works. And then in the bag, here's another string of Christmas lights. Doesn't look like it's even ever been plugged in. Does it work? Damn it. And damn it, it does. I have no trouble getting rid of Christmas lights that don't work. I have more trouble getting rid of the Christmas lights that do. So, much like this fine example of something i did not get this by the way no 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 these i will take them up to the christmas room which is the dining room and see if they might get put somewhere i suspect i will have as i get it sort of more done and more stuff i will have more lights here and there and even even if things like this end up underneath things as accent things or around things or whatever I will see this one. Hang on, I'm going to unplug this. This one here has with it an, a little thing with a plastic bag. It does. And it has other bulbs in it. Spares, of course. But. Oh, come on, you. Got to be careful you get the right bulbs in something. Now, ah, I just dropped it. This one looks white. This one here, at least this is what I think it is. I got to make sure the little legs are okay. I must look. At, well, maybe not. Let me get my glasses and have a look see. Because oftentimes what they do is they put a bulb in here that you can use to make the things flash. And this one, I think, is just green. And this one is white, but the other ones are not white, which leads me to think there is a possibility that this might be a flasher bulb. And if it is, Ha, ah, I got a bulb out. Get the wires lined up. Pop this in. Plug it back in. And see. Does it? Oh. Yes, it is. It flashes. So. Now, the problem, of course, is, now that I've taken this little bag off of here, it's not on there. And I will undoubtedly mix things up. I will. Because that's just the way it is. Because even though these things look similar, the bulbs can be very different. I suppose... I could get some tape 
and tape this back on I could okay hey flash I like flashing lights I like colored lights I do this has an assortment of colors they don't flash very long it's, it's a quick flash on this one um anyway I will ponder but anyway they will go upstairs they will Come on out. There's my kind of dying phone charger thing that I used to do the microphones with. You know what I might do right now? Is I might wind this around a little bit. Ever so gently, making sure that no bulbs fall out, because when bulbs fall out of these things, they don't work. And such, and then maybe I will just stick a little bag of bulbs onto the plug so that I know they belong here and they will stay there. And then I will unplug this little ring string of lights and they too will go to The Christmas Eve room, and then I'll see what I do when I decorate. But and this too, I'll take that up there. Why do I really like this thing? Well, no, not really. I wish it was like differently colored. Flashing is all right, but I I like colored lights better. Anyway, there I've turned it off, and I can turn it on solid. Oh ho 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 ho. Did I bring anything else at this moment? Oh, yes, I did bring something. I found in a box a screwdriver. Chrome. I can't read that. It's just in the light. It's right. Vanadium. Vanadium. Whatever. Anyway. Screwdriver. Which, of course, I have another one here. But you know what? They say... You could never have too many screwdrivers. So I think... I think that's all I brought here on this adventure. I think. Let me check my pockets. Nope, that's just plastic to be recycled. So, that's it for now. I do have to take some things to the laundry, but those flip-flops are going. They're going. There's a bag upstairs of stuff that's just going. Going, 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 going. Going, going, gone. Gone, gone, gone. I will continue to gather and sort and ponder and fret. I shall. Thank you very much for coming. Have a lovely, lovely day. And if you have trouble getting rid of things, well, I hope this helps you. And, um, I mean, the main thing, you know, a really huge thing is, is everyone else has to stay out of it and leave you to go through and sort and ponder and go through it. Because when you get pressure to get rid of stuff and people to, oh, now you, I know what I'm doing better than you, just they need to back off because otherwise it just, everything shuts down and nothing gets gone. Ding! So their well intentioned efforts are most appreciated, but they're not helpful. Thanks so much for coming. Bye for now.